Hey guys, it's your coach Greg D here back with another video and today I want to show you 10 moves that you can modify with a resistance band because as most of you know, I love the resistance bands and I have to use them more often than not just because of my arm and the stroke and the partial paralysis and the weakness. So I wanted to show you 10 moves that you can modify very easily with the resistance band. Now you may be wondering why I'm making all of these how to modify videos. And basically, that's because I want you to bring it. Damn it. I want you to do well. I want you to get rid of all of the excuses that you have regarding working out. And I want to show you how easy it can be to modify. So basically, in the words of Tony Horton, I want you to do your best and forget the rest. So let's go. Okay, first, move one. Very easy move. Step on your band. You're going to do a forward raise. This move is going to work the front part of your shoulder. So we go boom, just lift the band straight up, like so. Move two, we're going to work the side of your shoulder out. This is a lateral raise out. All right. Move three, we go like this, we step in front. We're going to simulate a press. So you want to have one leg bent, well actually both of your legs bent. You want to have one leg in front of you as you stand kind of behind the band and obviously you're going to push up as a press move. All right, move four, upright row. This will work both your shoulders and your chest, especially like your middle and your, your bottom part of your pack. So upright row is up, Keep your elbows up high and then squeeze down. And as you come to the bottom, make sure you squeeze your chest together. So like I said, that works the tops of your shoulders and your chest. Move five, bicep curls or hammer curls, depending, um, depending on your wrist flexibility and whatnot. Um, sometimes I have to do hammer curls just because my left hand kind of, I can't really keep it in this position to pull it up. Well, I can't do it very well, I should say. So a lot of times I will modify and do hammer curls. Now hammer curls are gonna work your biceps and your forearms. Obviously your bicep curls are going to work your biceps, but you just up and down. Well, let me do the hammer curl way. Up and down. Now obviously, if you want more tension and if you wanna work a little harder, you wanna put both feet inside the band, spread your feet out about shoulder distance, up. Obviously, that adds a lot more tension to the move. Boom. Okay, next move. I believe this move six, for those of you keeping count. Tricep extensions. One foot, get in a lunge position, back flat, put your elbows up, like up towards your rib cage, and then pull back at like so. Tricep extensions, tricep extensions, work with your triceps. Next move. You want to make a loop with the band. We're going to work on your back, so we're going to do a row. Make a loop. Let me go over here so you can actually see. Make a loop. Step on the loop. Lunge position. Well, I can keep my balance there. <laughs> and we pull up. Now you want to pull back. You don't want to pull up here because this will work your shoulders. You want to pull back and squeeze the backs of your shoulder blades together. This is this is a row. This will work your upper back. Boom. Another move to work your back is what they call lawn mowers. So you want to take the one handle of your resistance band, lay the other side flat, get in a lunge position, but you want to have your foot close to this part, the one that you're holding. Lunge position. Now think about you're trying to start a lawn mower, so you want to go back this way. Pull back. Pull back. This will work, excuse me. This will work your lats and behind your shoulder blades right there. Two moves left. We can do lunges. So put your foot in the resistance band. Lunge position. You can either hold it here, hold it up, you know, depending on how hard you want to work. So let's say I hold it here, lunge, down, up, 
down, up, down, up. Now you can do the same thing with the squat, which is the final move. Both feet in the resistance band. You can hold it like here, for example, if you want to, or you can, you know, hold it however you want to, whatever most comfortable. Down in the squat, up, down, up. Now, of course, you want to remember to keep your chest up. Don't bend over like this while you're doing the squat. You want to keep your chest up, and you want because that way you're squeezing your glutes, your hamstrings, your quads. So there you have it. 10 moves that you can modify with the resistance band. Try it, let me know how it works. Like I always say, where there's a will, there's a way. And I will see you guys soon.